Okay, so today we're going to be replacing a micro USB port uh, on a, this is a Samsung tablet. The model is a SMT800. Hopefully you can see that there. SMT800, it's a 16 gigabyte model. And the micro USB port has been broken. I don't know how you're going to be able to see that, but the um, middle piece, the pins are all broken and messed up, so we're going to need to be replacing that. Okay, so to do that on any of these Samsung tablets, usually it's pretty easy to get the back off. That's going to be the first step we have to do. So we use a guitar pick or like a pry tool or anything like that, and we want to find an edge where we can pry into it and pretty much just keep going along the edges. Um, it might be in more difficult in, places, in certain places than others, but you can just go across and it should start to pry this out. You can use some torque on the guitar pick to kind of pry those tabs out. And you should be able to start taking the back off. And just work your way around the edges a little bit at a time and kind of do like a little this maneuver to provide some torque for those clips and they should come off fairly easily. Again, this is going to be difficult in more areas than some. Okay, so now we are going to look at the jack closer up. We've never done work on these before, but it looks like we are in luck because the micro USB is on a board and we actually already have the replacement part here, so I cheated a little bit. I already know that, but first time having it open. So first thing we're going to want to do is disconnect the battery. This is just in case there is something gets shorted out in that ribbon cable prevent the device from being killed um, now the way these battery connectors often come out is they lift up so we can use our pry tool well actually if you had a pair of tweezers that would be better for this but uh, wedge something underneath there and it should pull straight up like so and we'll do it from the other side too make sure it goes straight up and just like that battery is disconnected. So now we want to take off the shield for the micro USB port. This is just a Phillips, uh, I think this is a Phillips 00 screw. Yes, Phillips 00 screw. And these two are the same. There's one on each side of the shield. And so now we have that off. Um, we can disconnect the connector. So we'll have to remove this tape down here. Flip this tab up like that, and then this should pull right out. Okay, so now it looks like on this board we have another connector here, so that's going to have to be disconnected. Okay. And now it appears that the frame might have to be removed. So let me have a go at that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have to take off this subframe piece going around because it covers this um, connector down here. So what we're going to have to do is flip the tablet over, and we can pry in between the screen and the casing, and that will allow us to separate the two. Um, you can pretty much start wherever you want, and just go nice and easy so you don't damage the screen and kind of go down, you should hear some clicks and the screen
screen. It should separate from that frame there. I can actually flip it back over to kind of get a feel for how it's coming along. We will just go down the line. Again, use a little bit of torque to kind of separate it from the glass. It's a very strange design. But as long as you are slow, careful, you can get it done. So you will go Okay, we almost have it out here. We just have a little bit left, and now it looks like it's completely off. So I'm going to set this off to the side exactly how it was. Um, there's a little bit of plastic broken out there, but that's okay. And now we should be able to just remove this jack here. Um, and it looks like this is with it, so this has to come out. That is the looks like sim card actually so this board we can should be able to pull out hopefully maybe now we're going to remove the actual jack itself so the way we do that is we there are two small tabs holding this down and it's also held in with some tape so the best thing to do is to get this silver piece out first so we're going to use a pair of tweezers here to kind of pry that out. That's not held in with anything other than tape, so that pries right out. And for the jack itself, we're going to use the guitar pick, lift up the cable, and then put it underneath. And that will separate the tape, and those tabs will, it should push the jack forward, which will make those just pop right off. So now we have the new one here. Get that out, and we can put that in the same way we found it. So we have those two tabs, so we'll try to hook it on there. Maybe take a couple of tries to do that. Let's see if I can get it straight on. Okay. Make sure this is making a good contact with the board there, and over here we can put this connector back in, which should just push back down. Let's see if we can get that in there. Okay. Alright, now we can put those two screws back in. And that should hold it back down to the frame. The other screw in now. Make sure that that's nice and tight. And now we can put the subframe piece back on. And we can line that up with the camera. 
and the headphone jack should also line up so you know you have it in the right way. And from there we can pretty much just go all the way around and pop that in. This one still has plastic on it. And we should be able to just use our fingers to push this back in like that. Just go all the way around. You might have to go do that multiple times. Okay, so now we can start snapping in the subframe here. So we just work your way around the edge, try to get this um, frame piece snapped in. Um, you can just put some force down and uh, should, you should hear it snap back up into place. Make sure all the ports are aligned. Um, it's usually the best way to line it up. Start with like the headphone jack, for example. Um, that will make sure that you put it in the right direction. And once that's all snapped in, um, just use your finger, go around the edge of the screen. You should feel the screen um, should be inside the bezel, so you should be able to feel a lip with the bezel uh, being the higher side. So if I go all the way around, I can feel that it is, in fact, in all the way. And it is a little bit difficult, so you might have to, you know, use your fingers and work around to try to get it pushed in. But uh, once that's done, we can just put our connector back in here. And... Lift that tab up, slide that connector right in, and flip the tab back down, make sure that that's in all the way. And now we can uh, put the battery back in, and put the T pieces back on, and before we put it back together, we'll just go ahead and test it. We will plug in our charger. Goes in like this, I believe. Okay, and now we'll try to turn the device on, and yeah, it's charging. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, then you will just put the bottom back on and press it into place. Go around the edges with this, and you should hear it clip back in. Same way that, uh, as we did with the subframe. Just push this in all the way around. You'll hear it click all the way. And all the way around the edge there. And um, that's it. So that's how to replace the charging jack, the USB micro, on a Samsung tablet. This is a SM-T800, and that's all there is to it.